Oh, okay. I'm ready, Steve. Thank you. What is reality? Is it something we create ourselves? When we feel trapped in our lives, do we actually have the key to our own release? Here are the conclusions I've drawn after working with countless people in my career as a therapist. We emerge with tiny bodies and open souls and begin to imprint, absorbing thoughts and feelings from others. We internalize these thoughts and feelings, creating a template by which we understand ourselves and understand the world. We're wired to form conclusions and make decisions based on early experiences. For example, let's say our caregivers' thoughts and feelings imprint this message. Your value is measured by your achievements. We internalize this message. Value is measured by achievement because we swim in it, marinating for years. This message becomes imprinted into our childhood conditioning. Unexamined conditioning is the birthplace of suffering. Imprinted thoughts and feelings take root and form attitudes. These attitudes settle into our subconscious without our consent, and we seek justifications for them while avoiding experiences that disprove them. Attitudes then solidify into beliefs, and beliefs color everything. We acknowledge only what we believe to be true. Psychologists call this confirmation bias. Changing entrenched beliefs requires tremendous effort. Beliefs become perceptions. We are wired to perpetuate what has been passed on to us, accepting it with, this is just how it is. Anything disproving our perceptions triggers fear, denial, even anger. So we scan the world and find evidence that supports and people who confirm our perceptions. Organizing ourselves into like-minded groups gives us comfort because our perceptions are continuously mirrored back to us. Perceptions take root, and we innocently soak up our conditioning like nourishment. Our worldview feels fixed. This is how our reality is created and how we can end up feeling really stuck. Early conditioning limits choices. We may be resigned to and defensive of the status quo. But eventually, life orchestrates something that brings our reality into question. Now, with curiosity, we can open to possibilities. Divorce, death, illness, job loss, or marriage, inheritance, pregnancy upheavals in any form are opportunities to understand this life at a deeper level. Illusions crack when all we've known is disrupted. Is it true that we only have value when we achieve? Disrupt disruption is a chance to investigate our imprinting and pause long enough to become aware of the thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and perceptions that have formed our reality we can awaken and see that what we've accepted as reality is actually a giant collective agreement, a construct with invented rules. But rules invented by whom? Who are these people? Whose yardstick are we using to measure our worth? 10% of the mind is conscious, 90% subconscious. 90% is subconscious. Dreams, memories, spiritual experiences, and emotions all reside in the vast subconscious mind. All of our conditioning, of course, lives there too. The logical conscious mind is constantly, sorry, the logical con conscious mind can help us process both the gunk and the riches that reside in the subconscious mind. Both minds are important. 
One we rely on too much, and the other remains unexamined and even ridiculed. Our subconscious mind is constantly at work, pulling strings in the shadows like a puppet master. Exploring our conditioning is best achieved with our conscious mind in a loving time out. We can do this by entering trance states. Trance methodology includes breathwork, hypnotherapy, meditation, music, dance, and shamanic practices. In trance, we connect with our divine selves. We awaken our expanding consciousness and shift reality. Indigenous peoples around the globe explore the mystery of the subconscious to understand and celebrate the place that people belong in the web of life. Today, without these sacred ceremonies, what are we missing? Exploring our subconscious creates an opportunity to change reality. We discover we're not simply walking meat puppets, working to pay the rent and be rewarded with a few measly love crumbs. Do we all feel that truth bomb? Do you guys feel that? Okay, good. Let's create a new reality, one that moves beyond our constricted conditioning. Anais Nin says, we don't see things the way we, they, we don't see things the way they are. We see things the way we are. Let's disrupt the status quo. Let's make shift happen.